Moving on, during an event in Geneva, experts expressed concerns over terror financing by state and non-state actors in South Asia, especially by Pakistan. Despite international pressure, Pakistan has continued to shelter globally designated terror organizations on its soil. Experts in South Asia have expressed serious concerns over terror financing by state and non-state actors in South Asia, especially by Pakistan and its global consequences. Speaking during a seminar on the issue in Geneva, a panel comprising of scholars, policy advisors and researchers discussed that Pakistan continues to give shelter to internationally recognized terrorist organizations and also aids them in running organized crimes. They suggested Pakistan should identify, assess and understand risks associated with terror groups operating on its soil, which continue to raise funds openly. In South Asia, we're seeing terrorist groups increasingly gain a foothold, not just in Pakistan, but in other countries as well. And I think Pakistan is going to continue to be a, a, key, a key area where, where terrorist groups will want to uh, locate. And we know that a lot of the links between these groups and, and transnational crime are affecting other parts of the world, other regions of the world. The fact that some officials, including in the military, but some officials in Pakistan, they enable terrorist groups to engage in criminal activities, organized uh, crime, uh, drug smuggling, uh, gem smuggling from Afghanistan. Uh, you have weapons trafficking as well, human trafficking, etc. That gives them, that gives those groups what they need, the oxygen, the need to operate. And that is the main threat that we are facing right now. Pakistan, which remains in Financial Action Task Force or FATF's grey list, was last month given a final deadline till February 2020 to save itself from being pushed into its blacklist, which can prove disastrous for the country's crippling economic condition. Pakistan has earlier failed to complete the action plan, first by a January deadline, then in May and later in October this year. 